What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be painting and rebuilding my Z32 calipers that are going on to my S13 Sylvia. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what paint and stuff I'm using so you guys can do this at home as well. All right, so as you can see, I got my Z32 calipers here. Uh, rebuild kit, including all new seals. We got some brake clean to clean up the brakes there. Hence the word brake clean. Uh, caliper paint, I'm using yellow. You could obviously, you can use whatever you want. High temp primer, and then some VHT high temp clear coat. So without further ado, let's get into this. The first thing you wanna do is go ahead and pop these pins out. Pretty simple, just get a flathead. You might not even need a flathead. Trying to do this with one hand here, excuse me. All right, pop that bad Larry out, maybe. Sweet. Once you get that clip out, you just wanna go ahead and slide these two pins out on either end of the, uh, the pads here. Um, if you want, you can use a screwdriver and a hammer to pop them out if they're giving you trouble. Got those out, this will pop out, and then you have your pads. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use these to pop these pistons out inside the brake. So just hold on to those. I'm retaining clips, the pins and the brake pads out of all four calibers. I'm kind of just gonna keep you up to date on one of them, just to kind of keep this video a little bit shorter. Uh, but same rules apply for all four. So just to so. get a majority of the dirt off for now, I got this little wire brush here and some brake so clean. While I'm cleaning up those calipers, what I'm gonna do is take all the pins and retaining clips and throw them in a bucket of acetone. Once they're all cleaned up, just go ahead and get a flathead. What you want to do is kind of pry under the dust boot. Uh, we're not reusing these, so don't be afraid to tear them apart a little bit. Obviously, try and keep them intact if possible, but boom, yep, just pop all four of those off. Unfortunately, my camera died, so I accidentally skipped a couple steps, but I just want to give you guys a brief run through. I put uh, three brake pads in between here, put the sliding pins in, and I put compressed air through that hole there and slowly popped all the pistons out. <clears throat> Once the pistons are out, it's gonna look something like this. And as you can see, there's typically a seal right in that little groove there. I popped that seal out with a pick, as you see there. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and slide the new seals in with some grease. So we're gonna throw some, uh, some supplied grease here onto these rings. Grease these up good so they don't tear. And pop her in. Oops, sorry, I'm blocking your view there, but yep, just pop that in. All the uh, the pistons here soaking in acetone. Get like a lot of the small grease, debris, dirt, and stuff off. So just wipe it down real good. And then take either grease or I'm using some brake fluid here. So get some on your finger, lather her up real nice. All right, walk it over here and then pop that piston right down into place. Make sure not to push it too far down because you wanna make it easy to put the new seals around the outer edge. Just wrap it right around the, you'll see there's like an edge where the, uh, the seal sits on the piston. Just kind of stretch her over there. And then push it down around the edges. And then what you do is take one of these retaining clips and just wrap it around the, the lower edge there. We got all the piston seals installed. We're gonna go ahead and spray these down with brake clean and we're gonna use this wire wheel. Yeah, basically just get them cleaned up real nice before paint. When you're done with the wire wheel, it should look something like this, pretty clean. Uh, and then just spray it down with some brake clean, rag. If you want to use some compressor as well to get any remaining dust off. But yeah, then we're just gonna go ahead and tape off the pistons here and get ready for paint. Spraying the primer, uh, it should look something like this. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure you tape off the bleeder nozzles, just so you don't get those like clogged or anything. Um, but yeah, 
primer's all good. Uh, make sure to do plenty of coats because that's what the paint's gonna stick to. Bro. <laughs> that shit's neon. <laughs> it is. I'm it's going, going good though. I'm going blind. Now it's the next morning. I let these calipers dry after about five to six coats overnight. Uh, they turned out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and use this fine tip brush and white acrylic paint to paint the Nissan logo on the front white. All about the details. I finished the front two there. Uh, definitely time consuming, but not too difficult. It's raised up a good bit, so as long as you take your time, you should be all right. Now it's time for the back. That wraps up the rears as well. It was definitely more tedious just being the smaller font, but they look good. Pretty happy with them. I'm gonna go ahead and spray them down with some high temp clear coat to help protect it and give it that finished look. There's one more final look at the finished product. Overall, very happy with how they turned out. All right, so if you guys made it this far in the video, I just wanna, first of all, thank you for watching the video. If you guys could do me a huge favor and just like, comment, subscribe, that would be awesome. Plenty more content coming your guys' way. We have a couple of E46 M3s, uh, my Sylvia, R33 Skyline, uh, plenty of stuff. So, like I said, subscribe so you guys can stay tuned and yeah, thanks again.